Hello everybody. We've got our eighth bed in finally, so we're all symmetrical. And we've even managed to get some wood for another bed. And this one is going to go there. It's going to encroach on that bit that we've dug the other day, but I don't mind. Um, you know, I'd rather have a, a little sectioned bed there. So, and then we'll have another one where that pallet collar is when we get some more wood. And we might have plans for where we park our car. Watch this space. It won't be happening till the autumn. But, um, yeah, we've got uh, big things in mind. Something else we've been looking at, which has been a big job that we've been putting off, was when we moved into the plot, this area here, that doesn't go into a shed. I mean, it's just like a lean-to. But this area here, there was just essentially loads of rotten fence panels there. Um, and that was it really, it wasn't really secure. And with all the wind that we have been having, every time there was some wind, there was another fence panel blowing about so Nick's just popped home to get some um, screws so we can make a proper job of it oh here he comes Rose is off playing hide and seek somewhere I don't know where she is <laughs> now Nick's back we can get cracking I've just taken a break for a minute to do some weeding and look at all my lovely strawberries These are the El Santa ones, with a lovely crop coming. Yummy, can't wait for these. And the same in the other bed. And these are coming up. These were the um, transplanted, I've not weeded this bed yet. These were the transplanted runners. Um, lots of flowers. There's a couple that didn't take. But I do have a couple of spare runners over here. There's one here. You can see that's a separate plant. And there's one here. I think there was another one. There's a couple over, over there as well. So, um, but because they're fruiting, I'm going to leave them where they are now. And then when they've gone over, I'll transplant them. So I've got a full bed behind me. Looks like I've got some coming over there as well. They're not El Santa. I forget what those ones were. Local garden centre. Right, had a break and now I've come back and I've sorted the strawberries. We're just getting rid of some wood and I found this interesting looking chrysalis. Which of our crops are you going to hatch and eat? Let me know in the comments below if you know what this turns into. There goes Rose. Taking away a bit of branch we removed. Oh, let me show you what we've done. We're just tidying up over here. I've got all this wood to, uh, to get rid of. But... There we go, it doesn't look pretty, but it's secure. Not that there's anything inside there, but uh, you know, that'll do. The um, bamboo screening that I took down from here, you may remember, I might get some of that just to put round it all to look better. Um, I'm going to see if we can get that roofing felt off because so it looks all mucky and it's a shame those boards aren't the same height <laughs> that would look a, at least a little bit more uniform so uh, there we go that's that done right other things we have done include putting some onions in this bed we've got some more cable ties so we can finish off attaching that netting 
and I did bring some kale down ready to go out it's that time of year um, which is looking nice and healthy and I think I'm going to put it in this bed but I do want to protect it so um, that is one thing that the rabbits do eat down here as I've said the reason we're protecting these two beds is because of the um, pigeon not pigeon the pheasant um, taking a dust bath in the raised beds and also the foxes using them as litter trays so that's why they're protected um, this one needs doing as well but the sticks are working well so um, before I plant that kale into that bed I'm just going to put some pipe in there uh, Nick and Rose are both exhausted so I'm not sure how much longer they're going to last down here so I shall see if I can get persuade him to cut a couple of lengths of pipe before we go home and there's one other um, thing I want to protect let me show you and that is Rose's gooseberry patch so I wanted to do the same but do a higher um, like a higher level of netting higher tunnel we've got there were quite a few gooseberries on here I noticed some had fallen on the floor I can't see that the sawfly have laid anything on here yet oh, let's see there's a couple of little gooseberries coming there lovely you found some on the floor yeah okay. yeah I don't know what makes them drop but yeah Here's so a really big one that's they're looking good oh you've got a really big one there oh, where are you there you are look at that very nice yes I do think we need to protect these as soon as possible what? we'll see how much energy daddy's got left after he's taken these fence panels down <laughs> One of our friends is uh, getting rid of a load of stuff, so they've said we can take down bits and pieces for them. So Nick's just taking them all the way down the bottom there. Let's hope he's got some energy left. Rose is having a go at cutting the pipe. You've got to push down as you saw, because otherwise it will fly out and cut us. Come on, keep going. You may be here sometime, viewers. Right, that's the blue pipe cut for the other beds. And also we've cut four for the gooseberries over there. Nick is done in, ready to go home for a cup of tea. So that is where we are headed. See you at home. And here we are at home. And I just wanted to show you that this morning we put the peas in. So they're in at home and they just grow up this. Um, they don't get all the way to the top. But there's hardly any space taken up when we get a nice crop of peas. And I followed a tip from my dad, which is I've put the pea plants in and then in between I've popped a new pea seed. So, um, I mean, they're quite a few weeks old, those ones. So once they've grown... I shall have another crop coming up as well. And then in this space, we've got all the wild strawberries going crazy. Um, in the rest of the space, I'm going to put some... That's where the glass gem corn is going to go. And there should be enough space at the bottom to put a squash crawling around in between. There's Mischief saying hello. Mischief! So I've left the cornflowers, they are in the way, but they're really good for the bees. So I've left them there. This area tends to be bee flowers, so I've left the broccoli there. Um, but yeah, depending on the spacing of the glass gem corn, those cornflowers might have to come out, those ones. I'll leave all the others. But... Um, Fingers crossed. Time to start hardening those off. And that's all from me today. So, from me and from Mischief, thanks for joining us. 
and we'll see you later. See you next time. Bye-bye.